amazing. Thank you. Uh, you're so insanely talented. Thank you so much. Um, I actually just wanted to ask you, uh, because, I mean, I talk on the radio for a living, and yeah. I talk about, like, my personal life, and a lot of people say, like, that's prohibiting you from, like, finding love. Do you sometimes feel that when you're writing songs, because they're so personal to you? Yeah. But you're not na naming names. No, not naming names. Open for interpretation. <laughs> but they're obviously uh, super authentic, so yeah. the other person knows that, no. that you, yeah. Yeah, that's always challenging. I mean, I think I've been lucky to be with, to have been with someone who was down and liked it, sort of. But, I mean, even when I'm working with artists, they're always really hesitant to, to say stuff because it's like, you're, it's like your diary being read out loud. So I honestly don't know what the answer is. I right. can't stop doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, and it's I so won't, true. But we'll see if we die alone. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you, do you have a boyfriend right now? Uh, we just broke up. Oh, that's the, you're, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say? Yeah. You've said in a lot of interviews that he's written a lot on the record. So there's only four other writers on the whole album. I think people know who it is. Yeah. Right. Th and that's a, the, yeah. That's the thing, like people put oh, yeah, everyone knows. pieces, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they piece like, things secret, together. Really. Uh -huh. Not yeah. a secret. Yeah, but it is interesting, because I also feel like I deal with that in my life, Yeah, you know, but I'm, I'm the same way, I'm like, this is my life and my job, yeah. and it's never going away, so it's like, someone needs me to you. fuck someone up, get on board, in. or yeah, <laughs> or like, bye, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. Um, okay, so we have some fan questions sure. that I'm going to pull out of this cute little jar here. Um, is it easier to write for others or your own album? Um, probably to write for other people because uh, it's easy to ask the questions, but I think when I had to flip the light on myself, it was a little bit more challenging. Right. Because <laughs> it's scary. And now I know how scary it is. <laughs> yeah, because you're on the other end of it. Yeah. Uh, what's been the most surreal moment of your career? Oh, God. I don't even know. I, all of them have been... There's been so many. I think probably... Um, like, did you have an ish moment <laughs> where you were like, I'm the ish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when was no, it? No, but we were, we, last Grammys, I was going with Drew and Alex from the Chainsmokers, and um, they do some of the awards in the pre-show. We're literally on the way to the red carpet. I had just gotten my makeup done, and someone was like, don't let me down, just won the Grammy. And I was like, no! <laughs> literally sobbing. Oh, in the car, oh your makeup Trying to, like keep it up into my eyes. <laughs> um, but that was crazy. I think Don't Let Me Down was like the first song that I that ever really took off of mine. So then for it to also get a Grammy was just, it was like too much, too fast for me to handle. Yeah, that's like a major amazing. life moment. Yeah. That's Same. crazy. Well deserved, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. What is your most personal song? Um... On the new album. On the new album. Oh, they're all very personal. Literally every single one. Is there one that you were like, maybe I don't put that out? Um, yeah. <laughs> all of them. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, they're all like, I think I tend to as a writer also, and maybe everyone does, like you could pick out one tiny instance that happened and make a huge, make a song out of it. Totally, totally. <laughs> you know, Preaching and you have to do damage control and be like, it's just the one time it happened and it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, they're all, like, yeah, they're all. Actually, Very personal. Yeah. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, what's your favorite one off your new album? Probably Not Ready to Dance. Okay. I think it's my favorite song I've ever written. <laughs> not Ready to Dance is a song I wrote probably four years ago with my friend Scott on the guitar. Um, it's the reason I've held on to it for so long. People have tried to cut it and have cut it and I tried to put it out and I put a stop to it every time because Wait, I had to, I had like to put who? the song out. No. Are you allowed to say? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always find that very interesting. Yeah. But continue. Um, and there's no production on it. It's the only one that's acoustic on the album. It's the closer. It's the last song, number 11. Um, and I just... I don't know, I think I love to how we were able to, We the lyrics are very, I'm really influenced by like Ella Fitzgerald's and early like American songbook and it kind of, it, I think it comes through on this song a little bit just because of the structure and like the way the punchline is and just, it's a real storytelling song. Um, so yeah, that's. Are 
Are you I nervous didn't. for the person that you wrote it about to hear it? They have no idea, so it'll be fine. <laughs> really? Just, yeah. No idea that you wrote it, or no idea that you that felt that way? That it's about, it's so old that I don't think we'll they're going to know. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this comes out October 5th, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's not a good one. It's a really good one. <laughs> what is the meaning behind the name of your album? Um, good one. <laughs> my album's called Quiet Your Mind. It's a lyric in one of the songs, which I'm not going to say because now you have to find it. Um, it's, I think, probably in order to be a creative person in general, but sometimes it feels like it's more intense for me. I get really in my head about everything, about, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about literally everything in a way that's sometimes really detrimental because I think my thoughts kind of make decisions for me before I before I really agree with them, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, so Quiet Your Mind is, felt really right because with everything it's just kind of a reminder to myself to try and, I don't know, just kind of let things happen and not just think about them so much. And it, and it is my, the swirling thoughts in my mind are what made this album possible, but. Right, right. It's such like a, what's the word? It's like a, de is it a dichotomy? dichotomy? Yeah. yeah. I totally get what you're saying because it's yeah. like I'm so in my head about every little I can dissect one situation yeah. and be like okay like I'm done with this or you know and then like I project and like you think make it about yourself right. like what's wrong with, you know what I mean but then it's like nobody's thinking about nobody's that thinking about that other than you and like yeah. just carry on yeah you know it's so true it's like the it's what makes us creatives I guess yeah it's a blessing and a curse blessing and a curse sure. How do you quiet your mind? Do you like meditate? Do you have? I do, do meditate you? sometimes. Um, yeah, or just distract myself, hang out with people, <laughs> write songs. Has really been helping me a lot. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I yeah, still you're like can't still stop learning. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah. Real. In the process of figuring <laughs> it out. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for of taking course. the time. I really appreciate it. It was thank such you. a treat to meet you. Oh, thank um, you. Make sure you guys grab her album. It's out October. Fifth, and what else can you tell? I hope you love it. I hope it helps you. <laughs> oh yeah, I have two shows coming up. I have a show at the Moroccan here in LA on November fifth, and then one at Rough Trade New York on November seventh with a full band. Are you gonna have a full tour after the album comes out? Um, not as of right now, but okay. anything can happen. <laughs> All right, I like that attitude. <laughs> thank you so oh, much, and congrats. Oh, thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>